Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna be talking to you about my five favorite one and done eyeshadows, okay? All right, this video is also a collaboration and I'm collabing with my friend Kara C on today's video. When she asked if I wanted to do this topic, I was like, okay girl, I can do that because I kind of lean towards a little bit more like simple and easy and quick makeup looks. So one and done eyeshadows are kind of my thing. Big thank you to Kara for asking me to collab on this video. So I will definitely link her channel and her video down below, of course. And Kara has been someone that I've gotten to know throughout the year 2020. And she actually was the creator behind the My Beauty Community tag, which I did many, many moons ago. And I absolutely loved that idea and really from watching her videos and interacting with her online. And I feel like we have a lot of the same mindset about really having this community feel. And it's something that I just think is so important. It's something that I have been talking about for years and trying to, you know, show up in all of those ways too, and just to support people on this platform and just bring a more community sense to everyone. It's so great to actually become friends with other creators and other people who do the same thing that you do and you can talk behind the scenes and help each other out and then be able to do these fun collaborations together. And that's just something that I really feel, um, like I really feel it, I can sense it from Kara C. And make sure to check out her channel. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna have them linked down below, but thank you so much to her for asking me to collab on these top five one and done eyeshadows. So if you wanna see my picks, Let's go ahead and get started. One of the first shadows that popped into my mind when she brought up this video topic was this one here from Hourglass. This is one of their scattered light glitter eyeshadows and I have the shade Reflect. And you know what's interesting is that I have this one and I also have one of the Marc Jacobs sequins glam glitter shadows and I have that shade in Caparazzi. And I used to say that I liked the Marc Jacobs a lot more. Recently, I've been saying that I've actually been leaning towards the Hourglass, but I would always say, I'm not really sure why. Like, I don't really know what it is. When we decided to do this video and I was thinking about my different shadows and I thought of this one from Hourglass, I was like, that's why I think I've been preferring this one to my Marc Jacobs because the Caparazzi, I mean, it's a different formula. It's a little bit thicker. It definitely has more of like a wow like pow wow impact on the eyes, if you will. But it's to me, it's not really like a one and done shadow. I usually have to, you know, take a while like blending other shadows or bringing other shadows in definitely, where I feel like that hourglass is one of those that I really can just use this and I'm going to be good to go. So it's kind of hard for me to swatch this because I've actually, like I've used it quite a bit that there's quite a dip in here and I have longer nails. So I need to use my knuckle to try to blend it. So please excuse me if this swatch is not the prettiest. There is the swatch of the one from Hourglass. I mean, you can see like it's stunning. It really is beautiful. And this is one that I can, I can use my finger or I can use a brush. I typically like to use a brush. I have like a little silicone one that I especially like to use for this shadow and I can run it all over my lid but then I can take a smaller blending brush and just kind of blend that same shadow into the crease so it kind of gives a diffused look along the crease yet at the same time I have this almost like shiny wet looking goodness on my lid it's beautiful it's super easy to work with and i really think that's why i've been gravitating towards this one so much another shadow that immediately popped into my mind for this one is in the sigma corda rosa palette can anybody guess what shade it is it is just called corda rosa I have mentioned this shade in particular pretty much every single time that I talk about the Corderosa palette. I use it in pretty much every single look. Like every time I'm gonna go into this palette, I'm like, I'm first gonna start off with Corderosa or I'm just somehow going to get this one onto my lid because it is so beautiful. It's a matte shade. So when I use this as a one and done shadow, I'm not getting that kind of like sparkliness that I would with the Hourglass, but I actually like all matte looks. I like an all matte palette. I like palettes that have more mattes than shimmers. I'm really a, a matte eyeshadow lover at heart. This really pretty like light pink, yet kind of mauve -y, yet kind of rosy at the same time, but it's not too much. It's not like, it's not too overwhelming of a shadow. If I just wanted to wear this, you know, all over my lid and then blend it into the crease and on the lower lash line, 
it's gonna look beautiful it's also a really pretty color with green eyes uh, i think like pinks reds berries purples those sort of colors they look really like flattering on green eyes so this is one that I can wear it again just run it all over my lid it's gonna be super simple yet it's gonna make my eyes pop at the same time another shadow kind of similar to that and one that I don't know if I really expected to love this one so much but after I thought of the Sigma and the Corderosa I was like oh wait a second I do that with a shadow in this Pat McGrath palette quite a bit too this is the uh, mothership palette I feel like I always get this name wrong the mothership divine rose palette I don't know I feel like I always say it wrong it's the number one not the number two but it is the second matte shade right here right here again this one is more of that mauve tone this one's going to lean a little bit more purple than the sigma leans more pink but it is gorgeous you know obviously the sigma palette has a beautiful formula on it too super easy to work with super easy to blend same as the pat mcgrath this matte shade is just it is so easy to use it's another one that when i go into this palette i'm like i'm first going to start off with this shade because it's just gorgeous i can wear it all over my eyes once again because it's more purple it's going to make my green eyes pop and just look oh, like oranges also make green eyes pop of course but i mean i just it, it's such a beautiful shade it's so easy to work with it's it's a favorite of mine and it can definitely be a one and done shadow. So speaking of orange, I wanted to pull in this one from ColourPop. This is actually one of their Super Shock shadows. And what kind of surprised me is when I was thinking about this, there was a few different Super Shock shadows that I thought. And Super Shocks aren't always my favorite from ColourPop, but in 2020, I felt like they put out some really good shadows, including this one here. Also, a, a lot of the Super Shocks in the Raw Beauty Chrissy collaboration I thought were really well done, but this one is in the shade Flipper. I don't know if this is available as a single anymore, and I think when I got it, it actually came in a trio, but this is a really fun orange shadow. Once again, it's gonna look really complimentary with green eyes. It's actually not what I have on today. I have a ColourPop pigment on my eyes, one of the ones that was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, the Rain I just I don't know I was really feeling orange I've been doing a series for my TikTok on um, shadows that make green eyes pop I saw my friend Kelly Gooch do this one for brown eyes and I was like I gotta do that for green eyes so if you want to see that video it will be coming to my TikTok which is Samantha March XO I'll probably post it on my Instagram reels also March Beauty Word on Instagram very interesting shade because the super shocks just they feel different they have more of that like wet moussey feel to them kind of reminds me like a little bit of the hourglass how you get that shiny effect it's orange without being super bright uh, like I have on today and I actually I mixed it with the sassy sienna's palette from dose of colors because i don't think the pigment on its own is really a one and done but this could be because once again just like with the hourglass i can really pack this onto the lid then i can take a blending brush to diffuse the crease and then i could pack a little bit more on the lid too to get a little bit more of this shimmer and shine and you get that hint of orange without it being like too orange or like too like sometimes i mean i feel like this is a pretty orange look that i have on today like like pretty orange look you know i think it's pretty too but if you don't want to go like super orange because sometimes that can be a harder color to work with i feel like the complementary colors to green eyes can be a little bit challenging like the pinks and the berries that can be harder to work with same as like oranges and reds but when you find some good ones it's like whoo oh hey my fifth and final shadow is actually a green shadow 2020 was the year that I got into green eyeshadows and this palette is what I really like I, I credit to having that happen. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her green lights quad. This is a beautiful palette. It is very green. I was so intimidated when I first got this. I was like, there's no chance I'm going to do anything with this palette. What? Every time I wear it, I think that it looks so beautiful. I like to wear all four shades at the same time. I think that's gorgeous. This second shade in the top row is so stunning so easy to use as the one and done shadow so there it is right there so again it has some it has some sheen to it so you're gonna get a little bit of shine on the lid really easy to blend out at the crease though but it's just kind of this cool kind of like khaki green it has a little bit of depth to it almost like i don't know if i want to say like a little bit of like grunge to it but then you get this beautiful shine at the same time it's so easy to work with. All of the shades in here, they have a little bit of, uh, of shimmer to them. There's no mattes in here, which is another reason when I got this, I was like, I'm never going to use this. And it's beautiful. It became one of my favorite, like this might be my favorite quad from Charlotte Tilbury. And if you told me it was gonna be green lights, I would have said that you're a liar. 
but you're not because I actually really really like that one and that shade is gorgeous so after that those are my five favorite one and done eyeshadows thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Kara C for asking to collab on this video idea I can't wait to see your picks because I think it's really fun to see the shadows that you can use completely on their own they don't need any other help and they're just gonna work well and make the eyes look so pretty definitely let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite one and done shadows I can't wait to hear make sure to check out Kara's video and other than that if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give this a thumbs up I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video bye